Hi, it's Thursday 6th of August. Um, Sean's taken a couple of days off to spend with me because the weather's meant to be nice, though so far everywhere's been cloudy while we've been driving. Um, he's driven so far to Scotch Corner where he stopped to get some water and a bite to eat for me and then we're heading to Fountains Abbey to have a walk around because we've got, as we mentioned before, National Trust and English Heritage cards. So we thought we'd take advantage, book a slot and have a nice quiet walk around, hopefully not too many people, and take advantage of that. And then tomorrow he's taking me out to um, York Sculpture Park. So once he gets back, we'll be heading down to Fountains Abbey. We're at Fountains Abbey today, which is just outside of Ripon, near York. Um, and we're hopefully it doesn't rain. It was meant to be sunny all day, but there's little drizzles in the air. The weather forecast has got it yeah. totally wrong. It is warm. So something Caroline's wanted to do for a while, so I took a couple of days off and we've come down. Yep. We have. There's lots of social distancing and cleaning measures in place. Um, yeah, let's just see how it goes as, as we go around. Um, masks are only required at certain areas mm -hmm. and you have to book a time slot. We're a little bit early for hours, so we're going to join that queue behind us when it gets closer to our time. Yep. I'm a little bit peckish, so I'm going to get something to eat. At the cafe. <laughs> at the cafe, which is outdoors only, but we see people eating indoors, so how that works, I have no idea. Huh. Yeah? Yeah. We've come into the cafe to kill some time and try and find some food for Sean. And there wasn't any. Not a thing. Somebody was telling you not meant to eat today. <laughs> I am meant to eat, it's bad if you don't eat. Huh. You are eating some crisps and we're waiting 20 minutes for a vegetable pasty for you. I said just don't bother. We've got time to kill, haven't we? Like 45 minutes till we can go in, so might as well. We've got a couple of teas. We came to £10.50 for a vegetable pasty, packet of crisps, an Americano and a tea. And we've got the last table outside. Nice and peaceful. Mm -hmm. It is quite busy though. Very. And they could put more tables outside, definitely. Anyway. So many pasties came got a herby crust, herby pastry. It's, it's a vegetarian. Cornish. Cornish really, isn't it? What's the correct way to eat a Cornish pasty? You told me this. Yes. Like that? Yes, and you eat straight out the middle and you don't eat the crust. That's right, the right. correct way. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Hot. Hot. <laughs> oh, it smells curried. Well, but that's the correct way. Straight out the middle, oh, hold the crust. Steaming. It's literally burning. Which is what I like. It's literally burning. Wait for it to cool down then? You're just desperate. No. I'm hungry. But the thing is, you're saying don't eat the crust, and the crust is one of the better things of pasty. Them's the rules of a corn proper Cornish pasty. Mm -hmm. So we're all checked in. Um, we had to book through Eventbrite to book the tickets. Um, you have to book for whoever owns the membership. You don't need to book for the carer. Um, but on the website, it doesn't tell you to pre book level access parking. Um, which you do need to do. So what National Trust have just told us is to ring up in future to book for level access because you have to go in through the west gate for like level access for wheelchairs. So Sean's now driving us round to the west gate side. Aren't you? Yes. And I think I've lost my sunglasses. I don't have them. Must have fell off my knee. We've made it over to the west gate. We have. I'm pretty sure. No. I'm used to buy that by pumping. Oh, look, some weaved beads. Bumble beads. I love it. How pretty is that? Going through the doors. We've made it to the Abbey. Yes, we've made it to Fountains it Abbey. Pretty big. I bet you it was a busy place in its day. This would have been very majestic. Yep. It's a very pretty place. Yeah. I think that's the hill that we didn't walk down. Yeah, I think so. It might not be the hill that we didn't walk down. 
because that bit up there it said to go back up to where the restaurant was and stuff so it might have been there Get a bit closer. How pretty it is. Oh! <laughs> the cows. I need to find out what this actually was right here. Oh! I'm on the turn. <laughs> so, so pretty. Reading the map. the map, the guide map. Tell them what I've done, Sean. Lost your glasses. I lost my senses and my glasses. Yes. We. <laughs> so. So this river here. Oh, Ooh. here. This river. Here. Takes for two. Or leads to the water garden. It's a tall building. The Abbey is certainly. Yeah, I bet I, it, it'll be a bustling hive in its day, and I bet you it was such a pretty sight back then as well, especially in the summer with all the flowers. Watch, this. Watch the rock. Wow. Watch the rock. Oh, oh. That wasn't actually too bad. Well, we're in the solarium, whatever that is. Well, a solarium is basically a sauna, babe, a hot room. Well, no, <laughs> no, a solarium, a cellarium, like a cellar. Well, it's probably where they stored their mead and be, uh, wine and stuff like that. Then it'll be a lot of alcohol in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very echoey. It's a very long. Very long room. So where are we, Sean? Exactly on the map? We're here. Yeah. Which is the cellar part, yeah. Cellarium. Cellarium. This building. All the way along. There's the cloister and screens and Thingy me bobs. This is the right height for me, Sean. Yeah, it's not for me. Nope. Turn the camera around. I'm the headless wheelchair pusher. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there you are. <sighs> So I was just read up, Sean and I, that this that the Fountains Abbey was made in 1132 by 13 disaffected monks, and I was asking Sean what disaffected mean. Not disinfected. Disaffected. They'd have to be disinfected now. <laughs> yes, they would have to be disinfected now. Whoa. This area is the actual church. The nave is the part that we're entering. This would be absolutely magnificent, wouldn't it? It would be. I mean, could you imagine it though, years ago when the monks used to sing as well, how, how it would have been sounded, it would have been amazing. Mm. Could you imagine getting married here? If they didn't all up, it would be lovely. Really, yeah. really picturesque. Under the moonlight. Not necessarily under the moonlight, but yeah, it would have been interesting. Wow. There's the cloister. Oh, tall's that? I know. Where's the cloister? Through there. Through there. That's the cloister. 
We'll go down there. We'll find a way down. Down the step. <laughs> Just see how grand it must have been. Did you just fall up the stair? It's a little bit muddy. It's a little bit muddy. So this bit's the chapel of the nine altars. Where would the nine altars be, though? There's one there. Two, three, four, five. So each square, eight. each square is an altar. Any need? Any need for that? I don't think so. <laughs> Sean, you're a pillar of the community. Am I? <laughs> Sean, Sean, yeah. we're in my second home, the, the infirmary. infirmary. <laughs> uh -huh. Down there, babe. Yeah, this is the infirmary. Very deep. That's what she said. <laughs> What that building over there is. The infirmary. What, do you think it's the whole infirmary? Uh -huh. It's a big infirmary back then. Uh -huh. We're on the road to Tipperary. <laughs> no, that's a long way to Tipperary, Sean. Uh -huh. It's a long way to Tipperary. So we're leaving the Abbey and we're off to the Water Garden. The Water Garden. Oh look, there's a hidden door up there, Sean. Can you see it? Yeah. I was, just, I was just telling Sean that the monks came here into the Wooded Valley to lead a simpler life and they were had, they basically um, led a very austere life and they were called the White Monks because they wore sheep's clothing? Sheep's wool habits. Ah, so were they monks in sheep's clothing as opposed monks to wolves? And monks, yeah. <laughs> monks in sheep's clothing. Yeah. I'm starting well, to sweat. Sean is Sean behind the camera has got a sweat on and he's got loads of flies on him as well. There's no flies on you, sir. But we have learned something. Did you know dandelion and burdock is good for skin diseases? Dandelion and burdock is good for skin diseases. Now, do you rub it on? Or do you drink it as a tea? Comment down below. You tell us. So here's the rest of the river skill in the dis skill. The river skull in the distance. It's leading us to the, the garden. garden. Yeah. On we go. It's a pretty impressive reveal. It is. I don't know how many times Sean and I have said pretty today. Even off camera, we've said pretty a pretty amount a lot of time. Ah yeah. Ow. Sorry. He's just nipped me shoulder. It's because I'm trying not to fall down this hill. <laughs> so is this, Sean, is this still the River Skell? Yeah, but it's been made into a water garden. Can you see the ducks? Yep. They're actually quite small ducks on the river. Not many of them, I thought there would be a lot more to be honest. Oh look, there's one there. It's a little bit quackers. There's another hidden tunnel there. Yeah. Have you put your plasters on now? Plasters, plasters? Yeah, I had to put blisters on my ankles and while I was getting the plasters out. You had to put blisters on your ankles? Yeah. <laughs> but I found some funky Disney ones, so I'm wearing a plaster as a sticker. Because you're a little bit quackers. <laughs> so anyway, are you going to tell everybody about this bit? Because it's a cool plaster and no one knows it's a plaster. Plaster. 
that just looks like a sticker. Okay, Mr. Clark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are restoring the Studley Royals. You buskets? What's a busket, Sean? Buskets were used as a form of garden featuring enclosed trays and shrubs designed to create a sense of expectation as they slowly revealed the views and vistas rather than presenting the whole landscape at once. Would you they say- often used dipped yellow hedges to create the structure. Would you say that this is exactly what this has done on our way around? Ooh. Oops, yes. you dropped there. Yes, I think <laughs> it, it has, has done. I think it has, yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. Them ducks are making a racket. I can't see them. Oh, there they are. What do you call a family of ducks? I don't know. What do you call a family of ducks? A family of ducks? <laughs> They've got swans too. Let's take you down here. <gasps> He's done it before. He's done it before and it's scary. So what is that there, Sean? Is that a house? Let's assume it's a bathhouse. It's a bathhouse. <laughs> oh, more ducks. They're coming towards me. <laughs> it's like being in Disney, all the ducks. <laughs> These are stud ducks. Hello. They want food, Sean, I think, you know. Oh, I'm going again. What's this? Very friendly ducks, aren't they? They're wanting something to eat, though, that's for sure. Sean, I know I've lost my prescription sunglasses today, but is he but naked? Yeah, he's a bit of an ass. This is a bit scary. Whoa. Stop, 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 stop. I'm somewhere over the water. Sean, mm-hmm. I can't see the wood for the trees. Poor Luz. I spy my little eye, something beginning with an F. I think it is. Is it a fishy? Yeah, it's fish. They're very cleverly. It's twined, isn't it? Very clever. Yeah. Ah, is it a pheasant? It's a, f- it's a, it's a pheasant. Running away. Don't run away, pheasant. Like, don't eat me. Or is it grouse? It's a pheasant. Or is it Not grouse? It's smaller to grouse, right? Hey, look at that, Sean. I didn't even notice that on the way around. What is it? It's an erection. Somebody erected that. Somebody definitely erected it. Yeah. You always miss them when they stand up in the bush. Well, it's definitely standing tall. It's on edge. I, th- I think all these ducks are ducking around. Look at them all. There's loads of them. So, Sean. Sean. Yeah. Did you read the sign back there saying that this meadow sweet can be used as an antiseptic? It can be used to treat... I need some for the blister on my ankle. Yep. It can be used as an antiseptic and it smells like it too. Normally when this is open properly, you'll be able to go into different parts of it, but they're not open at the moment because of COVID. 
normally they'd have an access bus that would take you from the visitor centre to the Abbey and it would run every day but that's not um, available and they would normally have wheelchairs if people needed them to hire and you can't hire them right now. It's been a lovely walk around though. It's been an absolutely lovely walk around. It is, and we're heading back to the Abbey now. It is so picturesque. It's very it's warm and sweating. So sweating. Yes. We're walking back to the Abbey now. Yep. Yep. Sean, mm -hmm. do you have any facts about this place? There's lots of hills and it's very tiring to walk. I don't know how long the walk is. Actually, there's a, it's miles and miles and there's a lot of trails and hidden trails which we can't obviously do. Yeah. Um, it used to also be the biggest seller of wool. It did. Hundreds of years ago. It did. Yeah. So, yes. Mm. It's actually, it is a actually, fact you all wanted to know. But Caroline says you had to know it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's woolen. Sean has told me to get footage. Well, it's been a lovely day out at Fountains Abbey. A very nice walk. Very nice walk. With some lots of nice scenery. We couldn't do all the indoor stuff because they're closed. No. But it's been lovely. It's been nice. And I miss Pamela and Sea. Yeah, well, well, we miss lots of things because they're all closed. <laughs> no, it's outdoors. Is it? Yes. Oh, we'll have to look at that next time. Yes. So that's I mean, been. I was going to say, I need to remember to book the deer park next time. Yeah, book time. the deer park next time. So we're going to come back, we'll go to the deer park. We might bring some friends. And in the meantime, we hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please share it with your friends give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed we'll catch you later keep making memories keep making memories you've done that the wrong way around keep making memories catch you later